Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now this week I want to touch base on a very sensitive topic, which is excess death in the US. Or some researcher calls it missing Americans. <laughs> Now this video is about excess death in the US and I know I have viewers from Canada, the UK, Australia and many parts of the world. So this may not be as relevant to you and if you are not interested in that, it's okay to skip this one. When you hear excess death, you may immediately think about excess death associated with COVID in the past two years. You're not wrong. You may have also seen some news article try to relate COVID excess deaths to political views. Now let me make my stand clear here. I'm here to only discuss medical facts. It is not a myth that COVID has caused excess death in the US. Now in fact, excess death of Americans have already been trending up even before the pandemic. A preprint study from a researcher from the California Center for Population Research at UCLA looked at the excess mortality in the U.S. relative to its European peers between 2017 and 2021. The author used publicly available data from the Human Mortality Database Short-Term Fluctuation Series to calculate the annual estimates of excess mortality. The annual number of excess deaths has doubled between 2017 and 2021, with most of the increase occurring during the pandemic. We tend to think COVID is more deadly in the older people and in people with comorbidities. That is true from the individual disease standpoint. But the pandemic is not the primary reason for excess deaths. More than half of the excess deaths in 2021 were people between 15 to 64. This is an age group with a far lower COVID fatality regardless of vaccination status. Now, one preprint is never gonna be enough evidence. Another preprint from a renowned epidemiologist, Jacob Bohr from Boston University School of Public Health, and his colleague performed a much more in-depth analysis. They look at excess deaths in the U.S. from 1933 to 2021 using data from the Human Mortality Database and CDC. They reported an increase in excess death since the beginning of the 21st century with a sharp increase since the beginning of the pandemic. Similar to the previous study, they also saw that the U.S. has a much worse excess death than other industrial countries. They estimated 626,000 excess American deaths by 2019, and COVID has brought the number to over 1 million. The most alarming signal is also the excess death in working-age adults. One in two of the excess deaths in 2021 was under age 65. This is in agreement with the previous study as well. These two studies tells us that the US is doing a much better job in preventing excess death in people over 65, but a lousier job in preventing excess death in the younger population. Now, certainly there are public health policy related reasons for such tragedy. Now, while we could do something about this by voting, these changes are usually too slow to make a difference on an individual basis. Again, we are not to debate government policy here in this video. So what could be the reason for so many excess death in people under age 65? According to two articles published in JAMA in late 2020 and in mid-2021, opioid drug overdose was the leading cause during the early phase of the pandemic. Another article published just a few days ago on November 1st suggested that between 2015 and 2019, one in eight deaths among adults aged 20 to 64 and 20% 20 aged 20 to 49 were due to excess alcohol consumption. 
The number of deaths involving alcohol continued to increase between 2019 and 2020, up from 2.8 percent of all deaths in 2019 to 3 percent in 2020. We've all experienced lockdown, and a lot of people had lost job because of that. Could that be related? Well, that's certainly a topic worthy of investigation. The National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine also published a book-length report on high and rising mortality rates among working-age American adults with data collected before the pandemic. This book is free to download, and I have the link in the description box. U.S. life expectancy began to fall in 2014 and continued through 2017. The main reason was the increase in mortality among middle-aged and younger adults, aged 25 to 64. Substance use was one of the reasons. The report also focuses on rising deaths from cardiometabolic diseases such as diabetes, hyperpressure, and heart disease, which are health consequences of the obesity epidemic. Adults aged 24 to 44 have been especially affected because most were born after 1980, where the obesity epidemic began. To sum up quickly, I don't mean. Covid is not contributing to excess death in the country, but there is a bigger picture seems to have been neglected in the past two years, and right now it's just an acute demonstration of a chronic problem. Now, when we talk about losing a year or two in life expectancy, it doesn't seem to be a big deal on an individual basis. But it means a lot more younger people were dying prematurely, and that contributed to the decrease of average lifespan in the population. That is a serious problem. While there is very little we can do to change health policies immediately, our health is in our hands, and we can make healthy choices. Now we are not talking about going to buy everything organic, but we can be conscious in choosing sugar and fat intake on a daily basis, and we can also balance our diet with adequate physical activities. If you are still watching this video at this point, I know you care about this topic and are likely a long-term supporter of the channel. Now, although my channel is relatively small compared to some other health channel that are more emotionally engaging, and I don't have a lot of influence, I still want to motivate you to start living a healthier life, just like my channel banner said. Now, I want to be honest with you that I'm not in the shape that I want to be. I I always have my shot, you know. Up above because I do carry some central weight which I want to lose. So if you also want to start living a healthier life, then I really want to begin this journey together with you on this channel. That is all for this week, and thank you very much for watching, and please take care. Bye.